So if your CD-ROM's broken, what do you do? You take it apart and fix it. So take your PS3, flip it upside down, and remove all the rubber ground nuts. This one here doesn't have anything underneath, but all the other pieces do. You'll also want to remove your hard drive. Put your hard drive aside. And then you'll want to get a security Torx number 8. And that will help you remove the three security screws at the front. If you don't have a security torque, so you can dremel the bit to make it so it has a hole, or you can dremel off the pin. Now that you're done removing the screws, the lid should come right off. Now you can remove the push buttons. Be careful of the cable. You don't want to rip that. That's just press fit, so just pull it straight out. Spring loaded. Put that aside. Now go ahead and disconnect these two cables. AC power. And then... Remove the two screws on the back. Once you have those removed, lift this up. This is your power supply, so you can just put that aside. You can vacuum it a bit if you want. And now you've got access to the CD-ROM and all the connectors taped to it. So you can just up untape those. Be careful of this ribbon cable connected to your CD-ROM. Now the CD-ROM is connected by this ribbon cable. There's a brown connector, you lift up on that, and this cable will slide right out. There's a red line, when you push it back in, make sure the red line is hidden. That means it's inserted fully. With the power cable unplugged here, and the ribbon cable unplugged there, Unscrew the CD-ROM mount screw, and then the CD-ROM should come straight out. Now you can take apart the CD-ROM. Start with the bottom. Once you have all five screws out, flip it over and remove the three screws on the top. After you do this, you can take the top off and then remove the bottom. Be careful of the ribbon cable, it's taped down, so just untape it. And you can remove the ribbon cable from the side if you're worried about breaking it. The black piece slides straight out, and then the cable can be pulled out. And once you push it back in, push the black piece back in to clamp it in place. So I remove the top lid, flip it over, and this is the reason why this one's not working, because this penny is stuck to the magnetic piece in the center. So if your daughter has gone and put a bunch of coins inside your CD-ROM and your PS3, take it apart and get your coins out of there. Now just make sure there's no other pennies stuck in here. Now there's a black piece of tape on the side that holds this piece down, so just peel that off, and then the top case should come straight off. Okay, there's a toonie stuck inside there, so you're gonna wanna get some tweezers and pull that out. It's stuck on the CD-ROM lasers magnets, so be careful not to damage anything. So we've removed a toonie and a penny from the CD-ROM. The magnets have held them in, so Double check everything else, make sure there's nothing else stuck in there. Once you've verified this, go ahead and put it all back together. Take your lid, put it back on, put your tape strip back on. Take the magnet that holds the CD-ROM down and put it on top. Now put your top lid back on. And reinstall the screws as you took them out. Now that your cd rounds back together, go ahead, lift up on the black piece of plastic, make sure it's in the up position, 
and slide your CD-ROM cable back in. Once it's back in, push down on the clip on there tight. Now take your PS3 and reinstall the CD-ROM. Install the screw again. Once you've got the screw in, push this cable back in. Make sure the red line is gone, it's not visible, and then push down the plastic clip. Reinstall the power cable into the CD-ROM. You may want to get some fresh tape and tape those cables back down. Now that you've got it all taped down, take your power supply and put that back in. Reinstall the two screws that hold down your power supply. Reinstall the power cables. Now take your power buttons and push that cable in there so the line lines up with the plastic and then that just presses down. Now you can go ahead and put your lid back on. Front first and then the back goes in. Reinstall your hard drive. Reinstall your hard drive cover. Now go ahead and reinstall your rubber feet and plastic covers. Now let's take a look at it and see if it works. So there you go, that's how you fix the PS3 CD-ROM if your kids have put coins in it and the magnets have stuck to those coins. Hope that helps and thanks for watching.